Reading, writing, and arithmetic, that's what they need. Not all this newfangled stuff. Might not be as bad as you think. We all want the same thing, a good school. Our school is good enough for you and me. Well, it's not good enough for my kids. Okay, that's good. Let me uh, bring me back to that, mm -hmm. uh, but let me review for a minute the whole history of education in about uh, two minutes. Uh, throughout most of human history, children taught themselves either at home, in the community, or on the job. There was a child went forth every day, and the first object he looked upon, that object he became. And that object became part of him for the day, or a certain part of the day, or for many years. Or and then, um, uh, with the uh, invention of the printing press by Gutenberg in 1450-something, uh, they developed uh, some kind of a school situation so as to uh, teach most of the population how to read and write. And this went on essentially unchanged, I gather, for two or three hundred years until King Frederick of Prussia developed a sort of a schooling model to teach passivity and obedience to young German students in order to prepare them for the Prussian army and for the bureaucracy. And there were many one-room schoolhouses. In many cases, there were 250 kids to the classroom, headed up by just one teacher and two assistants who helped the older teach the younger, who taught the younger, and so on down. And this peer counseling or peer teaching, of course, is still incredibly effective if we'd only use it. Anyway. Uh, most of our founding fathers, incidentally, were home educated. Most of them never went to school until a few went on to the university. Homeschooling was widespread and produced incredible numbers of great uh, thinkers. Unfortunately, uh, at that time, uh, Horace Mann and a couple of his buddies came from America and visited the Prussian school system fell in love with this Prussian model, thought of it as an educational model, which it wasn't. And he brings it back to the United States in uh, 1845 and uh, started talking it up. And our CEOs decided that adults were irredeemably unfit for factory work. Put in the compulsory attendance laws of 1850 and then sometimes at gunpoint, proceed to force to take the children out of their one-room schoolhouses and out of homeschooling and off the farms and out of the mines. And I guess it's a good thing to get children out of the mines, but they proceeded to force them into these large factory-like buildings and teach them to keep on plugging away at dull and repetitive tasks in the face of chronic boredom and fatigue. Ergo, they were now ready to staff the assembly lines of the Industrial Revolution. This model spread all over the world. Every school is run on the teach em, test em model, where the idea is to get things from the teacher's head into the students' heads, and then test them to make sure it's been learned. And uh, that's where we are today.